The sourcing and operations engineering team is responsible for ensuring all of our outsourced partners can design, build, manufacture, and ship that infrastructure on time so that we deliver a great experience to users around the globe. We have some challenges today and that our growth at times is exceeding worldwide capacity. But impossible is nothing here. And that's actually the part I love because we do get to manage the impossible. The sourcing team has to be involved in supporting the entire process for sourcing a data center location. All of the mechanical and electrical infrastructure, all of the commercial electronics, all of the connectivity connecting that DC to the planet. If you took one Facebook data center and laid it on its side, it would be taller than the Empire State Building. That's bigger than four soccer fields. We enable the delivery of Facebook products by just getting the compute and storage technology and equipment to the data centers when it's needed, on time. Basically, we get to touch all facets of the business. All of these elements working together from one cohesive team build the backbone that runs Facebook. When I first got here, everything is about disruptive uh, ideas. How quickly can we implement those disruptive ideas? That was very refreshing. We don't do cookie cutter designs here. We get to explore new ways of designing products that would not be available to the commercial industry. And that to me is extremely exciting. We're not plugged into a role. Every day's new, every day's fun. We get to work with industry leading engineers that are designing the products. And every day I come into work, I learn something new. Triage, collaborate, ability to move fast and deliver. That's the fun part. The speed of change and innovation and the investment for growth provides tremendous opportunities, both on a personal and a professional level. The biggest thing that resonates about Facebook for me is the people. You will not find people that are more open and honest. And I think the work I do, as well as the people I work with, is why I stay. To me, being open is really valuing a diverse culture. So as my daughter is coming into the workforce, I want to have a positive impact and show her what great female role models that we have here at Facebook. The question is not which problem do you want to solve? It's what team do you want to be a part of? Because there are a handful of companies that are solving very cool big problems, but not the way that we are going about solving them here. We have so much work to do. It's really mind boggling. Our mission is to connect the rest of the world and bring communities together. And we can really make an impact on their lives. That's what brought me here. When we look at the ramp that we're trying to accomplish over the next three, five years, it's just, it's scary. But that's also the fun part about it, right? Which is you can look at it and be afraid and not get anywhere, or you can look at it and say, I'm gonna take that mountain. Some people think the cloud is actually a cloud. For others, it's an ethereal mystery. The place where your photos and documents get sucked to and hang out. This, though, is the cloud. At least, the physical manifestation of it. It's thousands of servers and storage systems working together to hold our information. This is where all the action happens. This is where all our photos, our likes, exactly. our This is really sort of where Facebook is actually running. Look around. See over there? It's a picture of a young Ashley Vance who thought that going blonde would be a good idea. And that one? It's a lingering poke from your creepy ex. And right there is an inspirational meme helping lift people's spirits. Where does my mom find all these amazing quotes? And because we built the infrastructure to be so redundant, we can basically pull any server and it's not going to affect any end user in, in any negative way. So we pull one out here. Um, okay, so we're going to take down Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Monday morning. <laughs> but it's all built to be as energy and cooling efficient as possible. So there are no fans at all on this one, as you can see. They're sort of, it's just working on yeah. the pressure difference that forces the air through. 
I think for most people who have never been to a data center, they're usually like these big sort of pizza box shaped yeah. things with tons of fans and moving parts going on them and you guys compacted everything down. If the industry in general started adopting a lot more of this thinking, it could really change the whole industry and not just Facebook. A couple of corridors will go through. A typical data center relies on massive air conditioning units to pump cool air onto tens of thousands of computers. You can't pay for this kind of windblown look. Facebook is too hip for that shit. I gotta catch up. It uses cool Arctic air to keep its photo friend and like machines from melting down. This whole place lends itself to Sweden's meticulous attention to detail and design. The building is an engineering marvel that treats air like a pampered corgi poo. The air gets sucked in, cleaned, watered, and then sent on its way via physics with the building pressure pushing the air down onto the computers. Since Facebook gives away its service for free, this place needs to operate as smoothly and cheaply as possible to minimize the cost of each click.